Okay guys, so really quickly, I'm going to show you guys how to use one application for writing on PDFs, and that is Cabinet, okay? Uh, it should be in self-service, either as just plain Cabinet or as PDF Cabinet. I've seen it as both. Um, so look in the C's and also look in the P's, but either way, the icon is the same, and it's this uh, purple highlighter uh, right here. So when you go into cabinet, um, there, there won't be much here, okay? It's essentially just um, some guides and stuff like that. But then you can go through and you can make your own folders and kind of organize it the same way that you would organize things in your files on your um, iPad, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is upload something that I want to annotate and then submit. So right now I have lab safety contracts on the brain. So right here is our lab safety contract. I uploaded that from our, uh, this would be the same thing that you downloaded from Schoology. Okay, it's blank. It has nothing on it. But then I can go through and I can click on it and hit open document. And then once I have this open, I have lots of different options, of course, but what I want to do is annotate it. Okay, so this is where you could go through and you could write the school name. So St. Albans High School teacher, Miss Potter. When you're done with that, you can hit next and it will just automatically go to the next page. You don't have to scroll up and down through it. It's kind of like a book. Um, I could go through and fill all this out, but I'm not going to just because we're doing examples right now. Um, and then I'm going to hit my OK. And at this point, when I leave, it will save all of those annotations that I made so that you can see that this is now an edited document. OK. Um, so after that, you want to take it back out of cabinet so that you have it in your files and you can store it on your iPad. Um, so I am going to hit, just click on it. And then instead of opening my document, I'm going to this fourth option down here that's like a box with an arrow coming out of it. And you have the option to either do the original document again, just the annotations or both. And of course, you're going to want both because you want the background and what you wrote on it. And you can email it to yourself and download it. You can print it if you have your iPad hooked up to your printer at home. But I'm going to hit open in right now. And then I have all of these options to where I can open it. I'm just going to hit save to files. And I can go into my documents. I can put it into my different folders that I have. I can save it to my desktop, wherever. I'm just going to put this in downloads because I really don't want it. <laughs> And um, I already did this one, so I'm going to hit replace with my new one that I just did. And then it's there in my files. So when I go to Schoology now to upload it, I have this annotated version and the annotations that are used in this uh, software play well with Schoology and you'll be good to go.